Yo, what's going on you guys? Orange Fox Trot 04 here back at you with another video. And you guys have been waiting a long time for this video, so uh the waiting is finally over. So in this video we're gonna talk about my five loadouts that I, I use in the new Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And if you remember back in September 2020, I uploaded a video that was quite familiar to the one that you are watching right now, and it was my top five loadouts from Call of Duty Modern Warfare. If you haven't, make sure you go check out that video. Trust me, you're not gonna regret it. But before we start off this countdown, I want you guys to let me know and comment down below what is your favorite gun or what loadout do you use from Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Now, without further ado, let the countdown begin. Kicking off the countdown at number 5, we have a Milano 821 with a 10.1 inch reinforced heavy barrel and infantry compensator, a Vision Tech 2X optic scope, a Raider stock, a steady aim laser, patrol grip under barrel, a 45 round drum, and field tape as him. Along with that powerful submachine gun is the M79 grenade launcher. And believe me, this is one of my favorite secondaries or grenade launchers to use in Call of Duty in general. It's just the best thing about this gun, or grenade launcher, what you would say, is that this powerful beast can blow some sh** up. At loadout number 4, we got the Bellington 703 sniper rifle with the Stabilizer .308 muzzle, a 25 inch extended barrel, a fast reloader magazine, field tape handle, and an underbarrel front grip. When it comes to wide open maps like Satellite, it's just seriously straight up the top killer maps of all time. Especially when it comes to sniper rifles, and y'all should know something about my tone. If you're in the scope, you're done. The Diamati or the M9 Greta Burst mod, which is definitely my favorite pistol in this game, comes with a quick dot LED optic, a 6.5 inch cavalry lancer barrel, a steady aim laser body, speed tape handle, and a muzzle brake. Halfway down the countdown at number 3 is another SMG loadout. It is an AK 74U with a Spetsnaz speed grip underbarrel, a Spetsnaz field grip, a Spetsnaz competitive muzzle, an 8.4 inch cavalry lancel barrel, and a real 5 MW Also, when it comes to the AK 74U, it's very difficult with all the attachments that I like to be using. And it's also a very little powerful. And along with my AK 74U is the. Now, I know what you're thinking. Out of all places, why am I using a dog water launcher? I have seven words for you. They can blow up other <laughs> spy planes. NANI?! Enemy spy plane eliminated. At number two of our countdown, we have the XM4 with the Royal and Cross 4X optic sight with an infantry compensator muzzle, a 13.7 inch takedown barrel, Block 5 MW laser sighting body, a bruiser grip underbarrel, SASR jungle grip handle, a duster stock, and a jungle style mag. Before we reach my last loadout, here's an honorable mention. And finally, at number one, we have the Type 63 Single Fire Tactical Assault Rifle with the Raiders stock, a 21.5 inch match grade barrel, a Balkalite 35 round magazine, a Cobra Red Dot Sight, Muzzle Blade 7.62, a Zeddy Aim Laser Body, a Front Grip Underbarrel, and a Speed Grip Handle. And along with the Tactical Rifle, we have a Howard 77 Pump Action Shotgun, a 
with the SAS Combat Stock, a 21.6 inch reinforced heavy barrel, a Stenag 8 Round 2, a SWAT 5 angle reversal sighting body, and an infantry feature. And this shotgun, it is so powerful in its sprays. And don't even try running away from the Harley 77, because once you see it, you're dead. <laughs> I've been looking for a place to make me be